Hundreds of independent schools left in dire financial straits by the coronavirus pandemic are being targeted by Chinese investors, the Mail on Sunday can reveal. Experts anticipate a feeding frenzy as firms, including some run by high-ranking members of the ruling Chinese Communist Party, seek to expand their influence over Britain's education system. Seventeen schools are already owned by Chinese companies, but that number is set to rocket. Amid rising concern about Beijing's tentacles reaching into British classrooms, an investigation by this newspaper can reveal. Many independent schools are facing a funding crisis because of the pandemic. Enrollments have plummeted and fees have been slashed because pupils are learning from home. Boarding schools have reportedly seen fees fall by up to 35 percent and day pupil charges by 20 percent. They and other independent schools have been unable to take full advantage of the government's furlough or business loan schemes because they have to stay open to support the children of key workers or those studying online. Last year, Chinese firms bought three schools, including Abbott's Bromley School near Litchfield, Staffordshire, which had been forced to close its doors in 2019. A key player in the market is Bright Scholar, which bought a number of schools and colleges in 2018 and 2019, including Bournemouth Collegiate School, St. Michael's School in Hlanahui, Carmarthenshire, where Justice Secretary Robert Buckland and singer Saris Matthews were once pupils, and Bosworth Independent College in Northampton. Bright Scholar is owned by Yang Huiyan, who is reportedly worth £20 billion, making her Asia's richest woman, and was founded by her father Yang Guokiang, a member of the Communist Party's highest-ranking advisory council. Ms. Yang, 39, is the boss of Country Garden Group, Bright Scholar's parent company. Two independent schools, Bedstone College in Shropshire and Ipswich High School, are owned by a fund backed by the Chinese Wanda Group. Former pupils of Ipswich High include author Enid Blyton and June Brown, who played Doc Cotton in EastEnders. The Wanda Group, which invests in technology, real estate, hotels, and the media, bought the schools in 2017 through City of London-based asset manager London and Amp, Oxford Group. It was founded by Wang Jianlin, a former People's Liberation Army soldier who is worth an estimated £10 billion and is a member of China's senior Communist Party Advisory Council. Two more schools, Kingsley School in Bideford, Devon, and Heathfield Knoll School in Worcestershire, are owned by China First Capital Group, which has senior Communist Party members on its board. Others bought by Chinese firms include Thetford Grammar School in Norfolk, which was attended by Thomas Paine, Wisbet Grammar in Cambridgeshire, and Riddlesworth Hall Preparatory School in Norfolk, where Princess Diana was taught. Riddlesworth was bought by the Confucius International Education Group in 2015, and its website logs its links with the late princess. The firm's owner, Kong Lingtao, who claims to be a direct descendant of the Chinese philosopher Confucius, also boasts of his visit to Buckingham Palace in 2014, when he met Prince Philip. Another company, Ray Education Group, bought Adcote School for Girls near Shrewsbury, Shropshire, and Middleton College in Denby, Wales, in 2018. On its website, Ray Education details plans to use its British schools to help expand to other countries as part of Chinese President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road strategy to boost China's global economic and political influence. Under the heading International Market, Ray Education says it is relying on British brand schools and responding to the Belt and Road call of the Chinese government to target expansion in Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, Thailand, South Africa, Nigeria, and other countries. Ray Education's chief executive James Hu, who is a secretary of the Communist Party's Hongka District Committee, said, Adcote School for Girls and Middleton College are part of our global campus plan.